can you solve this semi-impossible geometry challenge? Here's the question. So let's start with a circle. And then let's draw some chords like this with their corresponding lengths 5, 4, 3, and 2 units. Now the question is what is the radius of this circle? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, now to answer this question or to find the radius of this circle, we will use three geometric concepts and here's the first one. So it says that the area of the triangle inside the circle must be equal to the product of their side ABC divided by 4 times the radius of the circle because we want the radius of the circle so this formula is very useful and now to use this formula we need a triangle but we have a quadrilateral not a triangle so let's insert another chord and let's call this as x now let's name some important points let's call this point let's call this as point a this point is point b this point is point c and this point is point d and now let's use this formula so before that let's have some notation for the area and let's use bracket so the area of triangle a d c must be equal to the product of its side which is 2 times 3 times x divided by 4 times the radius of the circle r this is what we want to find all right and also we can get the area of triangle a b c must be equal to 5 times 4 times x the side length of this triangle divided by 4 times r now let's simplify 2 times 3 which is 6 now 6 over 4 we can simplify this as 3 over 2 all right now how about this one 5 times 4 will give us 20x and 20 divided by 4 this simplifies to 10 over 2r now why 2r because the other fraction is over 2r now at this point what we're going to do is to add these two areas now why we do that because take note when we add triangle the area of triangle abc to triangle the area of triangle abc we get the area of this quadrilateral abcd so it's the same thing as the area of quadrilateral abcd so the left hand side is just the area of quadrilateral abcd and also we can simplify the right hand side as follows because we have the same denominator so we can add the numerator 3x plus 10x this is just 13x all right so let's keep this information that the area of this quadrilateral ABCD is 13x over 2R. Now, what we're going to do is to connect this D to B or create another chord and let's call this as Y. And let's use again this formula. Let's get the area of triangle ABD. So we have triangle ABD. And using this formula, triangle ABD equals 5 times 2 times y or the side length of this triangle so 5 times 2 times y all over 4 r and we can get the area of the triangle bcd which is equal to 4 times 3 times y all over 4 r of course now let's simplify this is 10 and 10 divided by 4 is just 5 over 2 now this is 4 times 3 which is 12 and 12 over 4 we can rewrite this as 6 over 2. Why 2? Because again the denominator of the first fraction is 2r. Alright again let's add these two areas because again if we add triangle the area of triangle ABD to the area of triangle BCD we get the area again of this quadrilateral ABCD. So the left hand side is just the area of ABCD. And we can combine this to result. If we do that, we get 11y over 2r. Now, using this information, 
Of course, our goal is to find the value of r. But the question is, if we add, what if we add these two equations? The problem is, how do we get the value of x and y separately? And there's no geometric theorem that we can use to find the values of x and y. But we can solve for the value of the product of x times y. So using the Ptolemy's theorem. So why not? Let's multiply these two results. So we have the areas of quadrilateral ABCD times the area of the quadrilateral ABCD, which is ABCD, the area of quadrilateral ABCD raised to the power of 2. And this will give us to the product of 11y over 2r times 13x over 2r, which is on the numerator, we have 143xy. And on the denominator, we have 4r squared. Now, since we want the radius of the circle, we can rewrite this equation as follows. We have r squared equals 143xy all over 4 multiplied by the area of the quadrilateral ABCD raised to the power of 2. And let's get the squared on both sides to get the value of the radius. Now, our goal is to find the value of xy and the area of quadrilateral ABCD and we're done because that is the value of the radius r. So, how do we get the value of xy? We will use the Ptolemy's theorem. And here it is. So it says that the product of the diagonals are equals to the sum of the products of the two pairs of opposite sides. In this illustration, AC multiplied by BD, the diagonal AC multiplied by BD, equals the product of AB times CD plus the product of AD times BC. So using this in our question, we can say that the product of these two diagonals, x, y, must be equal to 2 times 4 plus 3 times 5, which is 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 5 is 15. And if we add these two numbers, we get 23. And we get the value of x times y. So we can substitute the value of x, y to this x, y. Now, 143 times 23, this is just 3,289. And the only missing part is the area of this quadrilateral ABCD raised to the power of 2. Now, how do we get the area of this quadrilateral ABCD? Of course, we can use the Brahmagupta's formula. So given the side length of, this, of any quadrilateral inside a circle, the area of the cyclic quadrilateral must be equal to the square root of s minus a multiplied by s minus b multiplied by s minus c multiplied by s minus d, wherein s is the semi-perimeter. So using this Brahmagupta's formula, we can now find the area of this quadrilateral ABCD. First, let's get the semi-perimeter, which is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 2. Now, 2 plus 5 is 7, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, and 14 divided by 2, this is just 7. So the semi-perimeter is 7. And we can rewrite the area as follows. So the area of quadrilateral ABCD equals square root of 7 minus 2, multiplied by 7 minus 3, multiplied by 7 minus 4, multiplied by 7 minus 5. And 7 minus 2 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, 7 minus 5 is 2. So this is just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Now we can pull out this 4 because 4 is a perfect square. So square root of 4 is 2. And we have 5 times 3 times 2 which is 30. Therefore the area of this quadrilateral ABCD is just 2 times square root of 30. But to find the radius of the circle, we want the area of the quadrilateral raised to the power of 2. So let's raise both sides by 2. And 2 times square root of 30 raised to the power of 2 is just 4 multiplied by 30. This is the value of the area of this quadrilateral ABCD raised to the power of 2. So we can replace this. And sure enough, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 is a perfect square, so we can pull out 1 over 4. And there you go. That is the length or the measure. 
And there you go. This is the measure of the radius, r. Also, we can rationalize this and we can rewrite the radius as follows. We have square root of 98670 all over 4. And we have here units. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the length of the radius r given this information? And our answer is 1 fourth multiplied by the square root of 3289 all over 30. Or we can rewrite this as square root of 98670 all over 4 units. And as always, we are done.